What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Banks. And we back in the building, you feel me? It's True Talks. Because True Talks, all right? Let's get straight right into it. So you already know, man. Obviously, the Raptors, you know, on Thursday, they drafted Pause, Grady Dick. That's the only time I'm ever saying his name. I'm not saying that shit no more. We pause that outright. You know what I'm saying? We pause that before I get flamed. We pause that outright. I'm not saying that again. I'm just going to call him Grady. That's it. I'm. That's the only time I'm saying it because mans have to know who I'm talking about. But y'all know who I'm talking about. That is a pause-worthy jersey. I will never buy that jersey. I will never, like, come on, fam. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Anyways, <laughs> just get that out the way. Um, He is a 6'8 shooter. You know what I mean? 6'8 shooter, a Duncan Robinson type with a bit more in his bag, a bit more pull-ups, a bit more stuff like that. Um, At the, what, 13th pick that the Raptors have, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I like the pick for the Raptors. He fits with the Raptors. The Raptors do need a shooter, do need a knockdown because they have too many um, similar play styles with each other and, like, all this athletic, positionless guys but can't really shoot, so they need shooting, right? Um, obviously, so they went that direction. I always told y'all, isolating the pick is a mistake because that pick does look good on paper, and it not only is good on paper, it's actually a good pick, and it could be a great pick for years for the team, for the context, and where the Raptors are at right now. But I always told y'all, I'm not one-dimensional, so when I think about the pick, but I also now look, who could you have picked? Who could you have picked at that time, at that position, or at that order, draft, or whatever, number? Who could you have picked? Who did you miss up for this guy? It's not about just this guy, how he looks with the team. He looks great. He looks solid. He looks good with the team, and I think that he will be a fit and it'll be natural. But what did you give up for that? What could you have gotten instead of that? Now that's when you really are talking. Now that's when you really know, did we make a mistake or not? Did we choose the right guy or not? Was this a great pick or not? Individually, the pick could be great. It always is. But let's look at what you could have done. Amani Bates, yo. Some of y'all might not know. Y'all go do your research. You know what I'm saying? Amani Bates. E-M-O-N-I-B-A-T-E-S. Amani Bates. If you don't know, if the spells sounds wrong to you, like, Amani Bates, man. He went to 49. He went to the 40. Uh, he's dropped to the 49th pick. Went to the Cavs, which they need a bucket getter too at that height. Remember, he's a KD prototype. 6'9, 6'10 ish. Probably will grow wiry, but he has that dog in him. He'd be like KG with the dog, talking smack, screaming. Like he has that fire in him. Fire in him. Raptors, he could shoot. He has unlimited ability. He's a three level scorer. He, like, he could do it all, but he has that fire in him. And that's what. I always, that's my problem sometimes with Masai's picks is that he looks at the outside in terms of their prototype, their athleticism, they could finish, they could shoot a bit. Like it's just that he looks at the prototype, not the stats necessarily. He just looks at the build of the player, the prototype, the position list. Like we, he's per, oh, what? We could get, that's a steal for us. And then when they come to the Raptors, they're all limited. So when you have a bunch of those guys, it's like you're lacking bucket creation. You're lacking specialists. And just man's can have a dog, but an unskilled dog is limited. A skilled dog is different. The like, you know what I mean? An unskilled dog could be, become a skilled dog, but that's not common. It's common when you isolate OG, Kawhi, uh, Jimmy Butler, and you pick these guys out. But at an amount of players that have came in the league, it's not common for an unskilled dog to become a skilled dog. Most unskilled dog be- stay as role players. They lock up. They're two-way guys. Maybe they can shoot here and there. But they're like the Tony Allens, like those type of guys. The unskilled dogs are limited. In this era now, the unskilled dogs, the most skilled they'll get to, or at least they'll be at least a three, a, a, a two, a two-way, a three and D. Sorry, not two-way, a three and D. You know, Finney Smith, like some of those guys, they're dogs, but they're unskilled. Like you can just see in their mechanics, they don't really have dribbling. Like there's only so much you could practice. Like so only like some guys just don't. It's like when you teach someone to dance, like some people just have rhythm, some people don't. It's also like that with hoop. 
just because you work all day every day to work on your bag does not mean you're going to have a bag that's confident enough to pull amongst great defense. No. No. Now, when they go to open runs, they'll fry you niggas and display a bag. You'll be like, what? Who is this nigga? Yeah, because they, y'all are nothing. But we're talking about in the cream of the crop NBA, some guys just don't have, they don't have that. And not only just doing those moves, now having the creativity and the mind to react in the moment and have the, like, it's, it's, it's artistry. Right? Some guys just don't have that. Masai lacks, that's what Masai is lacking in when he's picking these guys and he's picking these African guys. A lot of these African guys are just, they're brolic, they're unskilled, they're athletic, and they're just, they don't have a soft touch hand. They don't, you know what I mean? Like, they just, the skill is lacking. So when you try to teach that, they can't, there's a lot for them to overcome. You get what I'm saying? As someone who's African, I've seen it in my everyday life. I've seen it. I've seen it. You get what I'm saying? So you guys got to understand something. I'm saying to you, Amani Bates, skilled, elite, like he's a hooper, and you could just mold him to be better. But he has that dog in him. He's a skilled dog. So the traje- for him, obviously the situation is going to matter because, again, for him to drop to 49, a lot of people weren't happy with you know his charges or whatever the case is. I don't know. And, you know, he could be sporadic or maybe they look at his percentage, okay, maybe he's just a J.R. Smith type, like whatever. Like I know the, I know the knocks. But you don't pick, you don't, you don't pass up on a guy like that at 13. At 13, you don't draft role players at 13. That's not, should be not your intention when you have that, especially in this era. You're not supposed to be drafting role players at 13. I've seen stars get drafted at 26. Second round, there's like, come on, fam. You're not, at 13, you're not, top 14 is never supposed to be a role player. Unless you're on a team that is so, even then, no, I don't know. I'm not drafting a role player. I can sign a role player. I don't care if my team won a championship and I have the number three pick. I'm not. I'm getting the best available for what position my team needs. If I needed a center, if that center that they're saying is a top pick has no bag and he's just a rim protector and athletic, I'm not drafting him. I don't care if I needed a center. I'm not drafting him. If there's another guy who's, has a, who could beat dog. Who could be elite? I'm drafting him, and we're going we gonna to sit on that. Develop him. and I'm not drafting just a role player. I'm not doing that. I'm not drafting a role. In top 14, I'm not drafting a role player. I don't care. I don't care what the team needs. I don't care. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Unless that guy who ends up being a role player, I didn't draft him to be a role player. He just didn't manifest his potential. I'm not drafting a role player at 13. I'm just a realist. Grady is the type of guy you, you, you could sign. Come on, fam, yo. Amani was the one. He was dropping like, dog. And it's always like that. The Amanis, the, like, these elite guys, I'm always hoping the Raptors are going to get, and they just never do. I would never forget when they didn't draft Rodney Hood. They drafted Terrence Ross instead. And I was like, dog, come on, fam, yo. Come, see the bag. See, like, see what? Come on, fam. Yo. And Terrence Ross, wasn't the, he's not like he was a bat. I'm not even mad at that one. But at that point, I didn't see no bag. You know what I'm saying? So, whatever. Anyways, I digress. The point is, I'm not drafting a role player at 13. We're not doing that. Y'all know damn well Grady's a role player at best. Stop it. So, when you have Amani, a guy like that, a micro, like, come on. yo. I'm very disappointed in Masai for that. For that, because that's what my, that's my drafting issue with the Raptors is that it doesn't mean they don't draft well. It's just what you could get versus what you get. There's always, there's a, there's a disconnect. There's a, there's a little, you know what I mean? Like, they're not recognizing the dogs. They're drafting wrong guys at the, at the height. I'm talking about, you draft, the guys that Masai is drafting a lot of the times, I feel like you could draft them lower. Let's keep it a bean. Scotty, I'm, uh, Scotty, I'm not, like, I, I wouldn't have drafted him that high, honestly. I told you. Like, I told y'all, you see Van Vliet leaving? If Imagine Raptors had, Pascal would even have to go. You could keep him. Imagine Raptors had, what's his name? Um, 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 y'all know who I'm talking about. Damn, I forgot his name. I'm drawing a blank. Blood clots. I forgot his name. But y'all know who I was saying for him to draft. Um, from Orlando. Jalen Suggs. There we go. Came to my blank though. Jalen Suggs. I was I was I wanted him to be draft because I knew at some point Van like he's a bigger, he's a bigger version. Like he's literally like he has a I seen him get game winner and when his mark. Sometimes the dog, you have to. And he was a skilled dog. 
who's going to be even more skilled and more skilled and more skilled at height, 6'4", athleticism. Like, I like his game. He just is, and he's in a situation where there's there's guard plethora. So you're not seeing him. You're looking, oh, uh, Raptors run the draft. Yeah. If Jalen Suggs with this Raptors team, like I told y'all, if he was with this Raptors team and there's no Van Fleet and he's with the Raptors, the bag he could dive into when he's controlling and run, like, come on, yo. What are we talking about? That's my knock against Masai. I still like Masai. And I still trust in his, like, I trust in his coaching stuff. You don't get in the right coach. Like I trust in certain things that I don't need to question, right? But the drafting, sometimes I have to question. I see what he's doing. It's not like it's a bad. He's not doing atrocious. But it's just that you, there's a step higher. You're missing on certain them ones. You're missing on certain them ones. You're missing on, like, Dog Amani is he's him, yo. He's him. He's him. So I just... I'm 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 disappointed because I really wanted the Raptors to I like I really wanted the Raptors to 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 get on that. Now they did, you know, get uh, Norvell or Norwell, uh, the the small guy who's a vision could shoot like he created like he's he's he he might be a Van Vliet 2.0 with the bag. You know what I'm saying? Like Van Vliet, the bag is still, you know what I mean? It's still limited because of the release pocket. But that guy's vision, like he's he's literally like he 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 he's like he's like a Trey Young damn near. He is the passing skill, like the 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 vision. You know what I mean? Like the skill set to score, shoot from deep, shoot from escape. Like he's he he's nice, yo. He's nice. I like him. But I don't know what they're doing with that. Like again, we have to see how things come to fruition. Obviously, Raptors who they sign, let go. If they get back Van Vliet, obviously he's I guess the replacement in case. So it looks like they might not be actually pursuing Van Vliet. Maybe you know what I'm saying? So. You know, that could tell that's that's a lot. That says a lot. You know what I'm saying? Or it's insurance in case. So maybe they believe Van Vliet don't want to even come back because it's Pascal shit. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things, but I think the Raptors dropped the ball with the not drafting Amani. I do really believe that. Um, let me know what y'all think. I don't want to make that too too long because I just I know there's other guys they could have drafted, but like I'm also I'm not mad at Grady. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just it could have been way better. Like I'm mad because Amani was dropping. Like people weren't even drafting him in sight. He went to 49. Meaning, like you could like dog steal him at 13. He should have been a lot of like there's no way, yo. A lot of the NBA is gonna regret that because he's gonna kill with Cleveland. Like they have they have what's his name? Um, um 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 damn. I'm just be I'm just be blanking on man's names, yo. Okoro, Okoro, he has Okoro who's literally, he has the prototype to have a bag and defensive two-way he's had, that was the, that was the, probably the belief when they drafted him, he's not, you know what I mean, it's kind of on Donovan Mitchell and Garland and that's it, so they're lacking wing creation, they're lacking wing creation, Amani going, he's going into a great situation if they play him, if they play him and let him be himself, but he could, he could be, he could fulfill a void that they're missing and put Cleveland to a whole new level. A six-man creator, he could do that. You know what I mean? Obviously, I don't expect him to start right away, but a six-man creator, even if he lacks a one-two defense, like, he'll just get better and better, better. He can. I seen him come off pin down, shoot. I seen him shoot from deep. I seen him shot create from deep. I seen him pull up in the midi. I seen him float. I seen him punch. I, yeah, I've seen him scoring three levels. Real, real buckets. Like, I seen it. I seen it. So, as a dog, too, on, on big stages, like, I seen it. Dog, he's a dog. Efficient too in a lot of those games. So, like I like, like he's he's nice, man. So I'm just I'm disappointed in the Raptors for that because I really wanted him. Like I re- like you could have kept this Pascal shit intact if you had him, but now like dog is just whatever. Anyways, we'll see we'll see how things transpire. Let me know what y'all think about the Raptors draft in terms of who they should have picked if they drafted right. If I'm tripping, y'all let me know. We can talk about it. You already know it's true talks. It's true talks. Should like and subscribe. We out here. There's no doubt here. There's no drought here. You feel me? I appreciate y'all. You already know. Remember, click that notification button so you know when I'm here. Because I'm here. You feel me? Appreciate y'all. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. You already know. And I'm out, man.